This step of the tutorial will explain how to place the hardware in the assembly, set its position and choose the right configuration. You need to know that Woodwork for Inventor uses unified hardware library, with most common woodworking components used on a daily basis. Moreover, you can change them or create your own custom hardware items or even wooden joints. Library items also includes automated positioning instruction and hollow shapes. Different hardware can be positioned in various ways. Usually, we need to define the side of the connected items and how far the connection is resided from an edge of a part. At the first stage, we need to use work planes to define where the centers of the hardware would be. From the times of multi-spindle tooling machines, the distance between holes and the edges of the part in most of the cases must be multiple of 32 mm. Let's create the work planes, keeping that in mind. Use work plane tool, then click on the edge and drag the cursor, then enter the offset value. Plane parallel to the edge will be created. Now we need to create the work planes in all necessary places. To save a time, I'll speed up this process. On the facade of the drawer we can use custom offset distance for a drilling for the handle. It's time to place the hardware. For this model we will use minifixes as churning element. When the components has been selected you can define its configuration. In our case, the default configuration will work for our design. Make sure that in the insert dialog you have chosen multiple insertion option. Now you need to select nestlet board, pillar board, and the work planes to define the side offset. As you saw, multiple components was placed in one single operation. Now repeat the separation for another items. Again, to save you time, I will speed up this process. When all the minifixes have been placed, it's time to place the handle. In the insert dialog box, choose the square handle and insert it into the assembly. As you see, the full configuration of the handle is too short. Let's change its length in the browser. Use Change Component option and choose the right length value. Let's check if the configuration of a hardware is correct. To do this, use Visibility Control to disable all the components except library items. Now change the dial position using the same principle that we used when the handle was inserted. Now, this unique minifix and dowel combination can be used as a template to change in other instances. 
Just click on the item and its configuration will be the same as the templates. Repeat this step with necessary remaining items. Then turn on the components we have disabled and hide the work planes using keyword combination you see on the screen. We will not generate the holes at this moment. This will be done when iBox items will be placed. So we finished the hardware placement and we are ready to go for the next steps.